Okay, I am going to try a little trick that I saw on YouTube. You take and you drill a little hole in a paint can or some other kind of can. And you take a tire valve. And most of them was just soldering the tire valve in. But I'm going to use this JB Weld, JB Quick, whatever you want to call it. And the reason that I want to use JB Quick for that is because I want to show what happens. I have tape on my magnet for my door. I was wanting to do that little experiment and show how JB Weld reacts to a magnet. Uh, I know, it's probably crazy, but <laughs> I got rained out today. I've got my awning out. Not all the way, but I've got it out a little bit where I can get under here to work. But yeah, look here. Right back there, you can see. I'm going to have to go this way a little bit. You can see we have flowers blooming on the trees a little bit. Kind of see the red buds just a little bit. Right over there, a little bit. Leaves are blooming out on the trees. It is going to get very beautiful around here pretty soon, and I am looking forward to it. I love it when everything gets all bloomed out. Really pretty. Anyway, back to the project at hand. Alrighty, here we go. Mix up a little JB Weld. Pretty simple, I mean, pretty much. Most people have used this stuff, or a lot of people have. You just put out pretty much equal amounts. I mean, they don't have to be 100% exact. <laughs> it probably would be better if you did have it, but I have never mixed it 100% exact, so. Just mix them together. Once they are mixed, they're both activated. You just want to keep going until you have uniform color, of course. Then, okay, here we go. There is the JB Weld, and watch that. It just pulls itself magnetically onto the magnet. This is, I'm not holding this up and holding the camera sideways. It is going sideways to the magnet. Isn't that cool? Or am I just easily amazed? That is pretty cool stuff. <laughs> now you see why I put the tape on the magnet. <laughs> that, that would have gotten all over my magnet. And it wouldn't come off. So, <laughs> anyway, I thought y'all might get a kick out of it. Look at the little fingers coming up to go to the magnet. That is so neat. It is just pulling it. Right. Well, we know that there is steel in JB Weld then. All right, okay. now, I am just going to, well, I pulled this one off of my magnet. It had a lot of it on it. This may be enough for what I need. And I'm just going to roll this in here. And you don't want to get it in the end of it because you're going to just pretty much clog up your valve, so... You don't want to get it into the end. 
And let's try this. Work him right into here. Just like this. And now I suppose you just let it set up. Oh, I don't guess y'all want to sit and watch it set up. Okay, well never mind. Alrighty, I have the valve put in there and I, I went over it a couple times with that JB weld because uh, it kept developing little pinholes and the pinholes would leak. So I had to keep putting it in. That's got like three coats on it. Empty completely. Can't hear anything coming out. Now, what we'll do, get my air hose and just add some air to it. See how much we got. You cannot see that because of the LED, can you? Well, anyway, I'll tell you, it's 35, or 30, right there. Okay, let's, it don't take long to pressure this thing up. I don't want to put too much. I need to check the pressure rating for this can. There's 40. About 55, okay. I don't have anything in it. I, I, I need to get some paint thinner. I'm out right now, but I thought I had some, but I left the cap off and it, it evaporated, so I don't have any. But anyway, you can hear. You probably can hear that it works. And then all you do all you have to do to add something to it take out this fat valve core and the valve stem here come out of there now I think it's free it's yeah okay you'll pour whatever you want down in there now if you wanted to do this to like a WD-40 can or something like that you could and you could pour like transmission fluid in it or something and you could pressurize it right here as the transmission fluid was pressurized on the bottom the air would push it out through the tube that comes up through this little valve and out the spout so you can refill an aerosol can and I am going to try to use this one for paint but I have to get some paint thinner first it was kind of Kind of a neat little project to do on a rainy day when couldn't really do anything else. I'd like to be working on the floor in the van, but I would just be tracking mud everywhere. So this was my project for today since I got rained out. But I guess that will do it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time.